And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at the EU's thirst for power, thirst for what can only be described as communism, to be honest. Now you're probably aware, the World Economic Forum and the evil villain himself, Klaus Schwab, said that we wouldn't have any property, we wouldn't own anything, but we would be happy. I would like to discredit all of that sentence, but it seems that the EU have taken him up on that word and are now drafting a law to allow are we ready for this? Seizure of property. Private property. Sounding very communist is this, isn't it, everyone? Now, this is during pandemic emergencies. The European Union is reportedly drafting a law that will allow Brussels to seize private property during a pandemic emergency. In a leaked New Year message to his staff, the EU's internal market commissioner, Thierry Breton, has outlined plans for a single market emergency instrument that will have a toolbox of measures in order to ensure the security of supply during a crisis. Are you not getting the you'll own nothing vibe out of this one, Europe? I think it's time you disband this maniacal, bureaucratic, imperialist culture. Because that's what it feels like to me. The measures are expected to be proposed in the spring and are believed to potentially include controls on exports and also new powers for the EU to obtain information from companies on production, stockpiles and their supply chains. And the reason they give for this is absolute hypocrisy in my honest opinion. In his message, Britain justified the need for the new power by stating that the European Union will not allow corporate interests to interfere with the greater interests of the European people. Now at this point, I would actually like to point out that the EU is all about and has always been about in interfering with the greater interest of the European people. Prove me wrong on that one, anyone? Yeah, I didn't think so. Now this has also been uttered for by Ursula von der Leyen back as well as she's expressed a desire for an EU single market emergency instrument to help fast track de decisions whenever a critical situation emerges. So whenever they say, basically, if they say it's an emergency, they can take all of your property, they can, they can force you to give up everything. All of your companies are now in jeopardy, Europe. I hope you're pleased. I hope you're happy. I hope you're going to hand them over with a smile on your face because it's all for the greater good, isn't it, everyone? Isn't it? Now, at this point, obviously, I would like to say, I told you so, Europe. I told you that this was going to happen. I told you that they're going to take more and more of your sovereignty, more and more of your economy, and more and more of your freedom and liberty. And this is going to continue and continue until you, as a people, say no. Isn't that right, Britain? We did it, so can you. <laughs> Let's break up the EU now before it's too late, Europe. But what say you? I'd like to know your opinion. If you're new to the channel, please share it out. I do need everyone to share it out because YouTube don't like me. <laughs> they don't like the truth saying. They don't like the way I deliver. <laughs> so I rely on every single one of you to get this information out for me and I thank you for every single one of them. Stay sane, I'll see you on the next one.